I was very surprised to find my LEGO Christmas 2022 catalog in the mail before Halloween. Now even though I like to put these catalogs and life magazines up as soon as I get them to share them with you, for those people who haven't gotten them, don't have a LEGO store, they don't get mailed to you, I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Christmas has already devoured Thanksgiving. It's not going to take Halloween because Hall Halloween is my favorite holiday. So you're not taking away Christmas. So even though I've had this catalog for a while, I refuse to share it till after Halloween is over. But now that Halloween's over, I can share the Lego 2022 Christmas catalog because Thanksgiving has already been consumed by Christmas. But let's open up and look at those fun winter holiday sets. Um, the very first page, we get kind of the main build, the main creator set they have this year, which is the Holiday Main Street. And I love these builds, always do, but for this one in particular, I love that trolley. That trolley just looks so cool. Um, so that trolley, to me, is the, uh, the selling point for this set. And we open it up, we've got our wish list, so you can write down all the Lego sets you want, which I probably need to do because my wife is like, you have so many, I don't know what you want. And I'm like, I want them all. <laughs> um, but here's some more winter sets. We have the wreath, and I'm actually surprised the wreath is still around because this has been here for years now, and I'm, I'm surprised it's still in circulation because usually they kind of, you know, they, they discontinue sets after one or two years. But this one's going strong. And I have not seen in a long time, if ever, a Lego Duplo set with a Santa Claus. So that's kind of a cool little set to finally get a winter in Duplo form. And then we've got this Santa visit, which is fun. You get a Santa Claus minifigure. It's a nice little build, but doesn't compare to that trolley, in, in my opinion. I love that trolley. But let's get past our wish list. Glad I haven't filled that in yet. To some other sets. And um, always fun to do a Christmas tree. But for me, I love to build Christmas trees myself because there's so many different ways to do them. The polar bear set. This year's holidays have been, holiday sets have been animal themed. We've got polar bears for Christmas. We had, I believe it was an owl for Thanksgiving and Halloween was a cat. Um, so they've been doing different animals for the winter sets this year. I love this Santa Claus and his reindeer with the sled. Um, this is a set, of all the winter sets, I think this is the one that I might pick up for myself, um, actually buys this winter set. Of course, now that I go to the next page with the ornaments, the penguin and the snowflake ornament, which I feel like these are more mock work. I, I have trouble paying $10 for something I probably can build with my extra pieces. I did get a Lego Star Wars advent calendar this year. And if you watch my haul video, you know that's the first time I've actually bought one for myself. So I'm excited to have that um, buy me purchased uh, for fun. So I'm looking forward to that set. But of course we have the friends and city like always, and they've now been giving us the uh, superheroes, which is Guardians of the Galaxy this year, and Harry Potter, which is new. So these superhero and Harry Potter are kind of new. Star Wars, friends and city have been around for a long time. And then we go to our Duplo sets. And uh, I love Duplo animals. I don't know, it's from when my kids were babies. So I just remember them. I've got this fond memory. And I love all the little Duplo animals you get here. So um, even though I'm an older builder and I don't buy Duplo anymore, there's always a, a special place in my heart because of my kids when they were little and them buying their Duplo animals. And from there, we go to our uh, Disney theme, which is kind of like a, a mix of Disney. You've got friends where you've got kind of these mini doll figures, you've got the Duplo figures, and now also standard minifigure, minifigures. So, um, you know, really Disney has gotten to all the different themes of all the different ages for Lego. But we've got Frozen, which is always appropriate for winter time. Cinderella, you've got Belle and Beauty and the Beast. I do like like Cogsworth and Lumiere and uh, looks like Chip. And then over here, we've got the Ultimate Adventure Castle, which is um, Disney, because you know, actually, I think Disney might be redoing their castle this year. I've, I've heard some rumors about that. And then we flip to Dots. Um, dots are fun little things uh, with decorating, being creative. Uh, they, do a, they have a Disney one now, so you can do some Disney characters. I'm not a big fan of Dots, because I feel like you're basically getting a plate piece and a lot of extra pieces that you get for free. But for a lot of people, they're loving these Dots. They're doing well. Oh, we have the Lego Imaginations. Let and wait, Lego. Let imagination soar with the Mia's wildlife. So here we got friend sets, uh, Emma's art school, Andrea's theater school, Stephanie's sailing adventure, and you know, with the, I don't buy the friend sets, but um, 
I do love the colors you get in these sets. Those are always been the thing I like about the Friends sets. And then the creatures, and you do get also a lot of good creature pieces in the Friends set. I find the Friends sets kind of like, you get the creature pieces first a lot of times, and you got this, uh, what is that, I forget what you call these. Oh my goodness, and I got old boss when they talk about I forget, but um, you got this, uh, you can actually tell the dog breed, but I'm blanking on the breed right now. Uh, not fun to cut, I can tell you that. Friends farm animals and then friends just kind of like beach summer fun i love that friends the friends with the mini dolls is getting a space theme that's really cool because they've had those for mini figures so it's nice that the uh, lego mini dolls are getting that as well and you go from space to more duplo jurassic park so we go to future sci-fi and space um genetic animal cloning it's all all related we got the duplo set those are little cute little duplo dinosaurs um, you've got some of the Jurassic World or Jurassic Park sets. Um, this one's really cool from the original movie with the T-Rex flipping over the cars. That's like a, that's a nice, that's a really nice model, I think. Uh, then we have Jump Into Action with the different vehicles um, and Lego City, kind of the stunt stars. And I haven't bought a lot of these sets, but they, I do like the play feature for like our younger builders. And then we have our standard Lego minifigure space sets, and I'm glad we're getting more space sets. Me being, you know, from my, the 80s when I was building Lego sets, having a, most of my sets being space, I'm glad to see that coming back. Then we've got our Lego City with police and fire department, always a classic. Need the classics for the holidays. And then the Ninjago, um, you know, I gotta say, I'm not actually liking this new Ninjago series from a build perspective, but I love the artwork on these ads. I just, I love this art that they're doing. So even though I'm not really into the sets, I do love the ads for some reason. <laughs> um, we got more Ninjago, two pages of Ninjago, very popular theme. And now we're getting into Marvel superheroes. And this is fun. So we got the Black Panther bust. You've got this Black Panther, a lot of Black Panthers. That's the big movie coming out with um, Wakanda. I'm like not into movies anymore. I've just, I've gotten burnt out on them. It just feels like it's more of the same. So I've just kind of like dropped that part of my life. So I actually didn't know Namor was gonna be in the new Black Panther film until the Lego set came out. So the Lego set, I knew Namor was gonna be in the movie because of the Lego sets, not because of the movie advertisements. So shows you where my, uh, my thinking and priorities are these days. But I was actually excited that we're finally gonna get a Namor minifigure. Never been a big fan of him personally, but as a longtime comic reader, he is in a lot of the comics I read, a lot of his stories, so he's a minifigure that I would want. And we turn in, we got these Hero for All Ages, you got some Duplo, you got some of these Spider-Man build figures and Groot. Um, really good, especially if people like mech builds, like to get these jointed action figures in Lego form. That's a lot of fun. And then we go to Star Wars, probably their, I don't know, Marvel, I mean, pretty much Disney, right? Disney, between Marvel, Star Wars, and then just the classic cartoons. I think they're half of Lego's product, Lego, uh, yeah, Le uh, possessive, yeah, Lego's products. Um, possessive S, not plural S. Uh, we've got the Death Star um, with those uh, the dark troopers where we truly see that Jedi are just agents of death and protectors of the galaxy. We got a little Gogru or the Child or Baby Yoda, so many names these days. You've got your regular Razor Crest, which I was actually surprised to see. I thought that this regular Razor Crest got discontinued and that we just had the Ultimate Collector Series. So I was, in, I was actually surprised to still see, it, still see it in the catalog because I had thought it was discontinued. And we have the Brickhead Mandalorian because in my opinion, Mandalorian seems to be the best Star Wars show out there right now. And then we've got the Mandalorian's new vehicle since the Razor Crest blew up. Um, so we've got this new uh, modified N1 Starfighter that um, our Mandalorian gets to use. And we've got the Boba Fett Jabba Palace set. And then this was interesting, the Justifier. I'm actually, this is, I, I like the Bad Batch. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the next series and this vehicle, the Justifier, in it. Uh, we have the re, uh, Recreate Your Epic Mission. So we've got the Snow Troopers. We've got uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi's J Starfighter. Uh, I'm going to skip over here to the ATTE Walker, which really looks nice. I love getting these because of all the clone troopers and battle droids you get. So it's really good for like just play and setting up dioramas. I skipped this Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader set because I hate it. <laughs> um, 
it, it's not that it's like a bad build, it's just like, it doesn't seem to me like a $50 Lego set. And what I mean by that is when I first saw it, I thought it, on Instagram, I thought it was like, oh, this is a mock somebody built, well, you know, but it wasn't. It was something Lego was selling. It's just, it, it just doesn't seem detailed enough to be a Lego set that you'd buy. And so uh, I, I'm actually kind of curious what you think about that because, I, you know, I, like I said, I like it. It's not that it's a bad bill, but just it just doesn't seem complex enough to be something I'd spend $50 on. It, it looks like something like, oh, that's what someone built with their extra pieces. Cool. So um, I'm really curious what you guys think about that. Turn the page here, and we've got build your own collection. So we've got the Mandalorian helmet, lots of Mandalorian stuff. You have the Death Star trash compactor, and then here is that Ultimate Collector Series Razor Crest, and this thing looks awesome. But again, I was surprised that um, the old Razor Crest is still around because I thought this kind of took its place. Um, but I actually have a friend who bought this, and it looks nice. And then we're moving on to Mario. We've got Mario, Luigi, and now Princess Peach. Um, Builder Monkey, or I'm sorry, Builder Cheetah now, he's, he wants that. He wants to get all the characters. So we might be seeing that on this channel because of Builder Cheetah. And a lot of fun. He actually already bought this set at Legoland when we went. That's the set he bought himself. Um, and then, oh wait, you know what? No, he didn't buy this one. He bought the one, the, the Flying Saucer with uh, Bowser Jr. I'm sorry, that wrong set. He wants this one for Christmas. And we got Princess's Castle, we got more castles. I do like the lighter colors of the Princess Peach Castle sets. And then I'm really excited to see Yoshi coming back because Yoshi was one in one of the very first Lego Super Mario sets. And so a lot of people didn't get him. And so I'm glad they re-released Yoshi because I think he's a popular enough character to deserve another set with him so that kids can get him. And th this Bowser, oh my goodness. Like I've been seeing a lot of people building it and adding movement to it, um, mechanizing it. And this thing just is really impressive. So if you're into Super Mario, I'm sure this is gonna be like high on your want list. And we come to exploring the magical world of Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. Um, and actually, I'm not sure if it's a Harry Potter or Wizarding World now. I don't know what the official term is, but we have the Teacher Brickheads. We've got the Ministry of Magic, uh, the 12 Grindelwald Place. And I actually already bought this, the Hogwarts Carriage and Threstle set because of that baby Thestral. It's just, that's such a cute little creature. And I love adding to my creature collections. And we come to more Harry Potter sets. These are old, like this one's older, the Hogwarts Courtyard Serious Rescue. Uh, the Dumbledore's Office, I believe, is kind of newer. And then the Shrieking Shack and this, uh, the Hungarian Horntail. I've seen these sets built and they look really nice. Uh, the Hogwarts uh, Hospital Wing. And we've got this suit, the Magical Trunk, which again, it's, it's one of those sets where there's just so much Harry Potter mythology. I didn't need this trunk. Build me some new sets and locations that, uh, that they've been to. And then uh, the Hogwarts Express Collector Edition is kind of like the ultimate collector series for Star Wars. It's like the ultimate collector series for Harry Potter fans. And this, this build just looks really nice, takes up a lot of space, but it just looks great. It's definitely a good display model. And then we're going into the, um, Avatar series, which to be honest, I mean, I am, uh, it's just, I know they're releasing the new movies because Disney's bought everything, but it's been so long, I really don't have an interest in Avatar. Uh, that being said, I love the build of this tree. That tree is a great build. So even though I'm not really interested in the Avatar theme, I love that build. And we're getting to some more, um, just our Lego City stuff. You've got the townhouse, the Tiger, which has been around for a while. <laughs> this Viking ship. I love that we're getting these classic sets again, like the Vikings, the Pirates, the Castle, Space. We got the uh, Fantasy Forest Creatures with the Owl. And I love that, to use purple for that. And then Minecraft, which builder Kitty is into. So we'll be looking at these Minecraft sets of the Ice Castle, the Training Ground, the Fox, and the Llama Village. And we've got the how to kind of modify some of these Technic cars over here to turn it like into a snow plow so you can uh, start shoveling snow if you live in that area. Got some Technic cars, which I really can't talk about. I'm just more into the traditional Lego piece than the Technic series, so I can't really talk a lot about these. They look neat, um, but they're just not my thing, so I can't really fill you in on a lot with that. I don't really pay attention to their builds or in the store. Oh, here we go, yeah, the Lego Maritime about the holidays. So we've got the Holiday Cat, and mouse for Halloween, and the owl for Thanksgiving. Oh, it's that Halloween for owl too. I guess the owl was Halloween. I thought it was Thanksgiving. 
And there's that, you know, this was my childhood. These space sets, all my sets were basically space. I love them. And then Castle, now that I'm older, I actually love the Castle sets, even though I didn't buy them as a kid, but they just look really cool. I only wish they were a little, like, they less, a little less expensive. It'd be nice to get a set for under $100 or under $400 from that theme. So hopefully they'll do that. Um, and then we've got the Vespa. One of the, again, one of the sets, I'm just, I'm surprised it has not retired yet. Uh, we got the Chevrolet Camaro, we got Optimus Prime, and Optimus looks amazing, and I really hope we get other, uh, other uh, Transformer characters like Megatron and Starscream, um, just so many, Bumblebee, just so many great um, um, Autobots and Decepticons, Transformers. I hope we see more characters in the future. Um, these blooming pants, I say it every time, these blooming flowers, it's art. It shows you how Lego is artwork. It's just, they're so beautiful. I mean, just, I love this succulent collection. It's just, it looks so nice, but I'm always so impressed with just what the Lego master builders at the Lego group can do. And the Van Gogh, and this kind of hit me like during when I was looking through this catalog with Van Gogh, I really hope we get some other famous artist paintings because we've got Starry Night, but there's so many more like Scream or Da Vinci's, um, there's just so many more classic paintings with um, Picasso and just so many artists that we could do this. Like I hope this is a series we get every year, like a new artist every year. In the, uh, the Lighthouse, this is another like, really cool build. I love it, it's such a nice build. $300, a lot of money, um, but it, it's definitely worth, worth, I think, the price for this because of just all the pieces you get and the detail work done. And now we're kind of moving more into our uh, properties with Sonic the Hedgehog, which builder Cheetah already got, uh, the Fender guitar, the Office. Um, it's funny because I'm actually a huge Office fan. Um, but I was actually not excited about the set only because it's an office building. I, I want something more unique so that, you know, people really recognize it as the office. But I feel like this would be just, just more generic. I think like everybody has an office. The Daily Bugle had an office. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just not a unique, it wasn't unique enough for me. Even though I love the show, I'm a little underwhelmed by the set itself just because of the location. And we've got our VIP building with a story. They're really putting up um, the digital world of Lego, moving into our new century and how we're more digital technology than paper as I go through my paper catalog. And I actually remembered to block out my address. I always forget to do that. This time I remember to block out my address. And then we have another Iron Man Hall of Armor on the back. Um, so we get, um, these are always fun because Iron Man has so many different suits of armor. This is a nice way to not only get a few of those suits, but also display them. But anyway, this winter catalog was absolutely amazing. I'm loving all the sets, very excited. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed thumbing through it with me. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.